Hi everyone, Coach Sullivan here again with MGS Coaching Football. First of all, I hope you subscribe to my channel. And then secondly, my background is my 38th year coaching football. I've either been a defensive, offensive, or special teams coordinator, as well as head coach, both the collegiate and high school levels. In this uh, presentation uh, of what we call Chrysler, which is one of our pressure checks versus 2120 personnel, I want to, you know, continue to emphasize, you know, why we have pressure, personnel pressure checks, uh, but also how you can tailor these pressure checks to your opponent, and then specifically, you know, why we would utilize Chrysler, which is a combo, okay, uh, versus your opponent. So first of all, in the top left corner, Chrysler is one of our 2120 specific personnel pressure checks. Okay, I don't add the word personnel in writing, we do with our players we, by saying it. You know, 2120 is offensive personnel. And Chrysler begins with a C because it's a combo. This is one of our combo family blitzes, okay? And so the coding is we utilize uh, U.S. automakers. If you see in, in my AFC playlist, I have uh, code inventory and one, you know, for pressure checks relative to 2120 personnel, we use U.S. automakers. And so Chrysler begins with C, and that's why it's a combo, so our kids learn it that way. So when we say Chrysler, <clears throat> okay, boom. What Chrysler means is in the top right corner, this is an example of Chrysler versus Cortland State University, which is in central New York, not far from Syracuse. And in this one, it was our base 50, which is our, you know, uh, basic 3-4 front. And this was a combo two, specifically an offset fullback. Okay. And so the word Chrysler means all of this, including... If you look down here in the tendencies, the fullback was always offset in this grouping, 21 and 20. I am only have it illustrated versus a 21 formation, but it was 20 also, always offset, 100% of the time. And 100% of the run game was to the fullback. So hence we decided our pressure check plan would be to attack the offset fullback. Okay. So in this case, weak means, again, if you go to that same AFC playlist, but Offset away from a tight end is weak. Offset to the tight end is strong. Okay, that's the run strength. So when it was weak, it's trio with the safety getting the fullback, screwing down on the snap, as it says here. If it was strong, meaning to the tight end, now the inside linebacker would have the fullback in pass. Okay, because as it says down here in the pass plays, 100% of them, the fullback was in the flat. 100%. Okay. And I'll get to the reasons for Chrysler momentarily. Before I say anything else, if you have specific questions relative to the combo family, I'd suggest you see my combo family playlist. Okay? But I'll give you the, the basic. The combo family is a go combined with a plug on the other side of the football. Okay? Go, plug. The go side's the primary side. The plug side's the secondary side. Okay, so in a straight combo, and again, combo two is an offset fullback, and we even specified this week that it was an outside linebacker combo because it could be safety or it could be a corner. Okay, just out of fairness. Okay, so this t in a week versus 21 it was the dime because the dime goes away from the tight end. See my three, four base playlist. Okay. So <clears throat> the specifics, the lucky Ringo goes to the fullback, which is the outside linebacker. In case it's Ringo, it makes it Roger. So the safety spin, right? Okay. If you want the specifics on the trio, please see my zone blitz coverage playlist. So now what I'd like to focus on is the reasons for Chrysler, okay? If you've seen my Plymouth or GM presentations, we utilize both Plymouth and GM to attack power to the fullback. So then why would we also use Chrysler? Well, it's yet a third way to do it, okay? The, in the uh, 
GM presentation, this is what's happening here with the dime stud in the nose, but this is not what these two guys are doing. So just by calling Chrysler, we bring this into it now. So again, the offense is, are very, very good and, and usually make quick adjustments to their blocking schemes. Well, if you've got three different ways to attack the same play, that's asking a lot for the offense. It's not asking much for us. Okay, it really isn't. As I mentioned in other presentation, GM specifically, practice time is huge. If you have a huge pressure playlist, you'll never get to all of it or you won't rep it enough, so your kids won't be very good at it. That's another advantage of having these personnel-specific pressure checks. They attack with, and take away what the offense is trying to do with this particular group of personnel in the field. Okay? So the power, this guard will be pulling. Okay? This, uh, if it were the power of the fullback, obviously, this would bend the defensive end huge. It doesn't say it, but we would give our um, inside linebacker the ability to read out of that and scrape over the top unless, as we say, you can shoot it and not get picked off by the center, go for it. But you better make the play is what we say, okay? So, again, it's a different way to take care. It, it, it prevents the power from hitting in the A-gap or even cutting back, which – this team like to do so you, if they're starting to do that that's why we would call Chrysler we wouldn't call it versus the ISO if they run the ISO they run it we'll live with it and move on but this is also a good way to take again advantage of the lead zone if they're starting to cut back on it somewhat this will take care of that cutback so that's another reason to call Chrysler and then for us and particularly against Cortland State they ran a six-man protection Okay, so in this particular setup, remember, they always shoot the fullback in the flat, so he wasn't in the protection. The sixth man was the tailback. So it was tackle to tackle on the tailback. The tight end, two receivers, and the fullback were always in the pattern. So <clears throat> by doing this and what they did, this offensive tackle was looking into C-gap, and then if nothing was there, he was responsible for blocking the man on him. OK, and then it was turned back from here. So back, 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 back. All right. And then the, the tailback was responsible for helping pick up any pressure coming through here. So by having this set up here, it put a lot of heat on the tailback to step up quickly from seven to eight yards and pick up any type of threat. OK, and so there was an occasion that the uh, guard would help in the B gap, which opened up the A. So this is another reason why we did it and attack their six man pressure, which was, again, tailback, tackle, look, C gap first to man on. And then it was A, A, B, C. OK, so we were able to get a little bit of pressure on I me. Mean, Cortland State, great football team, great coaching, great program. I mean, it didn't give us an advantage in the sense of stopping them, but we were able to get a little bit more pressure, make the quarterback uncomfortable, and the tailback had, to, had his work cut out for him, again, coming from eight yards. So that's why we did it. But, again, the big aspect of this, one word, you're attacking the uh, best things that the offense is trying to accomplish with their personnel on the field. I mean, this kid was a 230-pound fullback who could catch and get in the flat. So that's why they did it. So to try and negate that, we came up with this particular pressure package plan. Okay? And, again, don't reinvent the wheel. Take a base pressure that you already have and just apply it, tweak it like we did to the to the offset fullback just by saying Chrysler means combo two. And we're going to say that combo is the outside linebackers. Again, you could do safeties, corners, whatever you're comfortable with. But that's the beauty of our personnel pressure check system. And in this particular case, Chrysler. So as I mentioned earlier, I hope you subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, I also hope you reach out to me at CoachMJSullivan at gmail.com. I'd love to talk football with you.